Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I had a commenter at 2012 Inca who requested something from me. I want to read the comment that they wrote. Can you maybe do a video why reactions are blocked by YouTube and what you have to deal with fighting copyright claims? I know it has to do with the Copyright Act of 1976 that reactors get to react to videos of other people and upload them to YouTube. For example, I get why the Voice TV program blocks reactions of reactors on YouTube. The Voice was invented by billionaire John D. Mole, who is from the Netherlands. So the Voice is a Dutch business, and the U.S. Copyright Act of 1976 has nothing to do with the Dutch law. Therefore, the Voice can block reactors from putting up reaction videos on YouTube. P.S. I also saw that reactors get penalized for putting offensive content on YouTube even though they reacted to a video that was already on YouTube. So I read the comment and I thought to myself, you know what? Uh, I agree. I should talk about this because it, it, it's a problem and it's one that maybe uh, if you don't do videos on YouTube, you won't really understand what's going on. So that's what I'm going to talk about. After I make this video, then I'm going to do a reaction to a 30-minute documentary on Amira, which I, if you're paying attention to my list, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, you know that I've been putting this off for a while. It's been sitting there at the top and I keep bypassing it because it's so long I didn't want to do it in a normal routine like I, I normally do six reactions and and uh, that takes me about an hour hour and 15 minutes unless I screw up then it takes longer and uh, so I didn't want to add another 30 minutes to that routine but because I'm doing this special today I've blocked out the time to do this uh, documentary but let's talk about copyright. Now, U.S. copyright law has a provision in it called the Fair Use Doctrine, which says that even though a material is copyrighted, there are certain types of usage of that material that are co considered to be fair use. For example, you can quote part of a book or you can quote part of an article without running up against copyright, but you can't quote the entire book or the entire article. Well, this is the copyright law and fair use doctrine also applies to music. And so when you react to a, a music video and then you comment on it afterwards, you're doing what is considered fair use. You're not just playing, replaying the video and doing nothing else. You're not trying to steal the copyrighted person's work, uh, the copyrighted work from it, from its uh, creator, I should say. Uh, but there are some in the business who insist on enforcing copyright anyway. And so I want to talk about what kinds of issues I run into so you have some idea of what's going on. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my uh, online spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet that is linked under every single one of my videos and you can click on that link and you can see this spreadsheet. It's publicly available. And you notice right at the top I have four lines that are marked in red and bold so that you uh, won't miss them so you spot them immediately. Those are videos that were blocked worldwide by a copyright owner and I'm not allowed to display those reactions. Now, sometimes uh, a video will get blocked worldwide and I will dispute it and I'll show you the dispute process in a minute, but I will dispute the video and then the copyright owner will not uh, contest it and I'm allowed to release that reaction to the public. So it just depends on the copyright owner and how they feel about the copyright and about what I've done. And, um, Another thing that I get fairly frequently is partial blocks. Uh, for example, I had one yesterday 
let's go over to my channel this is uh, what's called YouTube studio it's where I can view all my content and work on it and if you go down to Amira Villighagen's uh, Manila Fantasia you can see the details of what I put in into the uh, the uh, description field and all that kind of stuff and you can also look at the copyright and if you look at the copyright down here you see where I've highlighted it says WMG on behalf of <laughs> and that's so small I can't read it so I have to blow it up a little bit uh, WMG on behalf of Koleski Group Pty Limited copyright owner is blocking in these territories Belarus and Russia now I don't have any idea why so many videos get blocked in Belarus and Russia but they do and almost without exception when I when I dispute the copyright claim which I'm gonna do with this one because I saved this one I didn't do it yesterday because I want to show you how this works uh, they will release the copyright there's a part of me that wonders if these people even own the copyright because if they did why would they only be blocking it in two territories what I have to do in this case is I click on select action and then I have four options I can erase the song replace the song trim out the segment which is if you think about trimming out the segment I'm trimming the whole song that would be a really useful reaction wouldn't it or I can dispute it and what I will do is dispute it so I click on dispute and then click on continue and then this next line uh, next page just gives some information about how to dispute it and what the final outcome will be and then I have to select copyright exception such as fair use as the reason why I'm disputing this copyright block now keep in mind these are are copyright blocks only in Belarus and Russia okay so I have an opportunity to appeal but what I have found is that if I appeal I almost always get warned by YouTube of a copyright strike on my channel you get three strikes your channel is gone so I have I have uh, done very few appeals and most of the appeals I've done have been shot down anyway so I've just learned that that's probably not a good idea so I click on dispute and then I click on continue and then it gives me some explanation some blurbs about what's good use fair use and what's not click on continue again and then I have to check a box that says I believe my video is protected under fair use and then I have to select the type of dispute and of course it's always going to be reaction video and then what I do is I'll type in this is a reaction video and is protected from copyright claims whoops by the fair use doctrine now if the video is blocked worldwide I will then go on to YouTube and try to find other reactions to it and if I find them I will add another line that says furthermore uh, there are existing reactions publicly available on YouTube to the same video and then I will list four of them just to give them an idea okay this has already been allowed so why wouldn't you allow me but in a case like this where it's just Belarus and Russia I'll just put in this line this is a reaction video and is protected from copyright claims of the fair use doctrine then I have to check all three of these boxes my videos does not infringe the claim copyright I understand that the claimant will be able to review my video and my dispute uh, <laughs> rationale and I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube account and then of course I have to sign it by typing in my name okay so that's how you file a dispute on a, on a video that's been blocked now I'll get an email from YouTube that tells me hey you filed a dispute and we will forward it to the copyright owner 
Now, I don't know if they actually ever forward it to the copyright owner or not. I really don't. I sometimes wonder if they do because I have blocked thing. I have protested or disputed things that were blocked worldwide and three days later they're unblocked. But then sometime later, like a month later or sometimes two or three months later, I'll get a notification that the copyright owner is, is standing behind their claim and the video has been blocked. And once it's blocked that way, it's blocked forever. And that's the reason why I did this, where I put in up here at the top, the red bold, so that you can see these are videos that I've done. They were requested. And I want you to know that I have done that work, but uh, it's never going to be viewed on, on YouTube, on my channel anyway, because the copyright owner is claiming copyright will not allow me to do that. Now, when I, when I upload videos, I always I have this set by default. I always have them set to be private when they're uploaded. That allows me to, oh good, this is one I can show you. That allows me to uh, see immediately the videos that I've uploaded and work on them but because I have to do a bunch of things before I upload them to you. So this is one that was blocked and you'll, you'll, let me take you back here just a minute so you can see it on the, uh, third line. It says Mimi and Josephine creep Radiohead cover blocked for copyright. Okay. So now when I go to the private visibles, I see that this is marked private. What that means is that I can now release this video. It does not mean that the copyright claim hasn't been enforced or not enforced. It doesn't mean that the copyright owner has said, yeah, it's okay to do. It just means that while this is under, under dispute, they're going to let me uh, show it on the, on the YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the details screen and I'm going to go to subtitles and I do this on every single video. And you'll notice that here it says published. And to the right of where it says published, it says ineligible. Automatic captions are available on your video, no matter whether what whether which language viewers uh, use on on YouTube. But the if I want to if I want to have a video that's able to be translated into other languages, I can't do it with automatic. So what I do is I click on overwrite track, continue, and then I just let it come up in there and I publish it. Now what that does is when you go to a video, let's go to my channel and I'll show you one. Uh, okay, we'll just use this one. Live right now. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to show it to you and make sure I am showing it to you. Okay, I am showing it to you. I can't make these full screen because if I do, then I can't do anything else. But uh, I'm going to make this one full screen and then return it back because I want you to see this. So what I can do in this video is I can go up here to subtitles and you notice it's set to English. Let's assume that when you go to subtitles, it's turned off. You'll see it says subtitles off. I click on it and the only option I have is English. Select that option. That means now subtitles will be in English only. However, if I click on subtitles again, I get a second option, auto translate. And in auto translate, I can then translate these into any language I want. So let's just choose one. Let's say we're gonna play this video and finish. Okay. So now we're gonna play the video. And you Welcome notice that down channel. at the bottom of the screen, this is my fifth it's requested translated my today. What I'm saying Lara into Fabian Fabian singing. I okay. So that's how you can view any any. And I do this with every single video. I went back and redid every single video I have on my channel a while back, so that all of my videos have this capability. All you have to do, and I'll go through this again, is if you go to subtitles and they're turned off. Turn them on by clicking on English. 
Then go back to subtitles again, select auto translate and choose your native language. And you'll be able to view every single video I have translated into your language. You notice right now it's in English. I can change it to Estonian. I can change it to any language I want. Okay. Just go to auto translate. Let's see Arabic, for example. See? Every single language on earth is in there. These are all done by Google Translate. Okay. So now that you've seen that and you've seen how I dispute a copyright, let me talk about the process of what happens when I do that. Um, let me see what this looks like because I'm looking at a different screen, so I have to look at it to see what you're seeing. Okay, so uh, if I go to the private content, you notice that I went here to Mimi and Josephine, and I went to subtitles, and I translated them, and now it's indicating that it's been translated. Or, well, not translated, but it's it's been copied into a transcript that can then be used for translation. So now what I'll do is I'll go to details and I'll change private to public. And then I'll save it by clicking on done and save. And now that video is up publicly visible on my channel. Let's go up here and look. You notice that it's the very first one or at the top. It's the newest one basically. Okay and it says copyright and if i look at copyright it says in dispute copyright protected content found the copyright owner is reviewing your dispute now it's entirely possible that the copyright owner could say no you can't have this up and then i will get a notice and youtube will automatically block it but it'll be visible until that process is complete now, it's also possible that the copyright owner could look at it and say, yeah, whatever, go ahead. And then it's visible forever. And I have a number of those that have done, been done that way. But the fair use doctrine is a U.S. doctrine. So it only applies really in the United States. Anyone who is in a different country and claims copyright on music can completely ignore the fair use doctrine and say, no, you can't show this in public. I think what I'm seeing is a trend where uh, music copyright owners are seeing the benefit of having people react to their music because they get more hits on the video and they get more, uh, they get more traffic to their site because they're, they're, uh, artists are being promoted more. And so I think a lot of uh, a, a trend that I'm seeing is that more and more copyright owners will not dispute the copyright. Now, the, the initial copyright block is done automatically by YouTube. The copyright owner has nothing to do with it. And then, uh, and I don't know the exact period of time, but it's 24 or 48 or, or 72 hours, some period of time, uh, as you saw with Mimi and Josephine, it will get released. Okay. And once it gets released, what I do is I go up here to my spreadsheet. And again, I, I need to check, make sure you're actually seeing this. Yes. Okay. So I will go up to my spreadsheet and I will find that line here. And then I will delete that row because it's not blocked anymore. So you will see this list of, of red bullet block copyrights change from time to time, but some of them will remain there because they're just blocked and they're never going to be unblocked. I think that is the case with the first one, which is Lisa sing, singing Homura and Mark Vincent singing Dance Monkey. Because if you look at my channel again and go to the private uh, videos, You'll see that uh, the Mark Vincent one was released on the 23rd of September of 2024. And the Lisa one was released on the 3rd of September. And we're now in, almost into October. So those are not, they're not going to be released, in my opinion. 
It's possible the Mark Vincent one could be. I seriously doubt that the Lisa one will ever be. So that's, that's a reaction that I did that you are never going to get to see. And that's unfortunate. I hate that that happens, but that's the reality of it. The fair use doctrine only applies really to U.S. copyright law. So it, it really doesn't have to be honored by anyone else in the world. If they choose to honor it, that's their right. But they also have the right to block it permanently, as some of them have, as you can see. So that's how copyright works. Uh, if you have any questions, if I, if I didn't make something very clear or you're not quite sure what I was saying, just ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I try to read every single comment that's posted on my channel, even though I've got over 17,000 uh, subscribers, I still manage to read all the comments each day. And I try to comment, you know, when it's appropriate. I try to reply when it's appropriate. And I, I mark some of them with a, a heart because I want you to know that I saw it and I enjoyed your comment. So that's how copyright uh, works on YouTube. Uh, I don't, I have a Rumble channel, which is supposed to sync with YouTube, but it doesn't do a very good job at all. And I haven't posted anything on Rumble. It's kind of a backup. If I ever get nuked by YouTube, I'll move over there. But uh, YouTube is by far the most popular video platform. So that's the reason why I'm on YouTube. So if you have any other questions, as I say, just post them in the comments and, and I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, I'll pray for you, my viewers, that God will bless your life. And that he will bless you with abundance and with peace and with joy and with love. And that he'll do the same for every single person that you love. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.